<laughs> Yo, how's it going everyone? Today I have a wonderful video planned because I'm going to talk about how I'm practicing to improve my 3x3. In fact, I've been practicing for a few days now and woo! <laughs> I have improved so much. No, honestly, I have improved a little bit. Like, I have seen some difference, and I want to talk about that, like, how I'm going to do this. But first of all, I want to talk about that right there. I received a package from thecubicle.com, and I want to unbox it together with you guys. Like, it has been standing there for a few days, and it's been screaming to me, like, oh, please open me, please. Where is it? Where is it? It was standing there just, like, a few seconds ago. Guys, I'm not kidding. It is gone. Like, the, this is freaking scary. Where, Where is it? Should I call the cops or anything? This is super scary. <laughs> Guys, if that scared you, please subscribe. And if it didn't scare you, subscribe. Like, we need subscribers. We're losing subscribers. No, that's not true. But we need more subscribers. All right, let's open this guy up. Now, I kind of know what's inside of here, but Phil told me that he's added an extra cube in there, like a mystery cube. So let's see what's in there. Let's see what we have in here. Ooh, that's a lot of things. Oh, so we have the mini puzzles as well. That's really cool. Those packages are clean. Okay, so this is the uh, Guhong version 4. I'm really excited about this one. Ah, uh, this is the special cube that he was talking about. All right, look at these logos. Yo, ho, ho, happy holidays. This looks awesome. Oh yeah, we also have new cube covers because people were bullying my other cube cover. I don't know why though, look how beautiful this one is. Wow. Now, according to Phil, they sent me 69 logos. So let me quickly check if they counted it right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 77 minus two, which is 75. <laughs> These are not 69 logos, but... Anyways, thank you. Let's start off by trying this cube. So this is, I think, again, box with a really shitty old cube inside of it. So he told me this was a very nostalgic cube. So I have no idea. Oops. I have no idea which cube this is. Like, can anyone tell me? Honestly, this turns really well. Oops. <laughs> Thanks, Phil, for sending me probably the oldest cube I own right now. Can anyone frame count this U-perm? <laughs> I'm actually very curious to try this one because I've heard some great things about them. The box is really clean, by the way. Let's first see what we have in this box right here. Oh, this bag looks so great. I know it's just a bag, it's not even a cube, but this is probably... I think this looks better than any Gan bag out there. I mean, the gray and the blue, they match so well. I want to make sure that the environment is good for the cube, but it feels like a good cube home. So the bag has passed the test. You guys like that? It feels very light. Ooh, oh boy. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It seems like there's no customization options, though. But first impression, the magnet strength is good. It's kind of loose, like a bit too fast, very light. And like, I kind of want to step away from light cubes. First impressions, like, I don't know the price yet, but this is a great cube with even a better bag. I mean, look at this. Uh, guys, let me know in the comments if you want me to make a video just on this cube. I really missed opening cube boxes. It has been such a long time. Oh, is this from YJ? Because I, I recognize these boxes. Oh, wow. Now you have to put the stands together yourself. Okay, this is too difficult for me. Some extra magnets, a screwdriver. This is... <laughs> this is a tiny cube. I just realized, like, it came with extra magnets. I didn't even realize that these cubes were magnetic. Oh, this is so cute! This is so cute! <laughs> I don't know why I think it's so funny. Oh, what, was the, what the hell? This just turns so well. Alright, guys, I changed mine. This is... <laughs> this is my new main cube. I think I'm going to use this to learn some algorithms because... I don't know, there's something so exciting about... 
It feels different. I think it's nice to have. I don't know the price though, but if it, it but if it isn't expensive, this is a nice extra cube to have. Let's quickly take a look at the 4x4 and 5x5. It's been so long since I've done 4x4. Oh, this feels good. Yeah, but the thing is, if this cube is from YJ, then it doesn't surprise me that this is a good cube. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, this is... Honestly, oh, this feels really smooth. Honestly, I want to solve this cube, but the thing is, I haven't practiced 5x5 five five in ages, so... Okay. How does that even happen? I mean, look at this. So aside from the cube popping the first minute of turning it, it feels awesome. Um, oh, well, yeah, I definitely need to tighten this a bit. What's What happened? Guys, I almost forgot to do something very important. I have an idea, guys. So normally you put your logos on the white face, which doesn't make a lot of sense because most people solve the white cross and, you, and then you never see the logo because it's on the downside, right? This looks so cool. Ah, oh, I could turn these cubes all day. Let's just start the video now. I'm texting my mom right now and she just sent me this picture of the last batch of cube head merchandise that has arrived. So pretty excited for that, by the way, guys. Pretty cool, right? Link in the description. Anyways, we're in the sofa right now and you know what that means. Yes, it's very serious talk right now. The main question of the video is how should you practice? And you might be thinking to yourself right now, can't I just do souls? I mean, I've been doing that for months and I've improved so much. Yes, you can just do souls over and over again, but you won't reap all the fruits of your practice. I don't know if that was English, but the point I'm trying to make is doing just souls will get you better muscle memory and being a fast cuber is almost entirely based on having fast muscle memory. The problem here is that if you have bad technique or you have bad solutions, you will get bad habits. If you have seen my previous video where I critique my own souls, I noticed that unconsciously I did a lot of bad solutions like rotating too much or not using my left hand to solve F12 pairs. And that's entirely because I created bad muscle memory. And you might be wondering like, but cube head. How are we going to solve these immense problems you're facing? Well, guys, for that, I introduce... Drumroll. Deliberate practice. Yeah. What is deliberate practice? Well, it is a more goal-oriented way of practicing. For example, I suck at OLL, so I'm going to review my OLL algorithms and perhaps even learn more algorithms. I do too many rotations, well, let me do some slow stalls where I focus more on rotating less. It's basically any way of practicing that is more intentional and demands more mental power than just doing casual souls. Felix has an awesome video on the topic, I will link that in the description. By the way, Felix spends 50% of his time doing deliberate practice. If that doesn't show how important it is, I don't know what does. Now, there are many ways to doing deliberate practice practice like so named practice drills and I'm not going to go in detail here in this video. I'm sorry guys, I'm really sorry. But no worries, I'm currently working on a video with my favorite practice drills and what the benefits are and how you should do them. So stay tuned for that. What I'm going to share with you is how I'm planning to practice the coming weeks. First of all, I'm setting aside one and a half hours a day for cubing. Now, why one and a half hours? Because I realized that's just the max amount of time I can focus in one sitting. So from that one and a half hour, I will spend one hour doing deliberate practice drills and half an hour just doing souls. But anyways, let's go to the computer. I'll, I'll, I'll quickly show you like how I set everything up. So basically you can see right here, there's different sessions in CS timer. By the way, I'm using CS timer and I think it's the most complete source of actually timing your soul. So I'm very happy with everything it does. Anyways, this is like the homepage. You have like sessions right here. And what I do is basically I have like different sessions and for each session, I have like a different practice drill set up. For this session, I'm doing two gen training L U, which basically trains my lefty moves. I think it's best to not delete anything. So you have like a nice overview of how you're progressing. So basically when I want to do another practice drill, I just go to another session. This practice drill right here is finding my first pair and my cross during practice and then solving it blindfold. This is a great practice drill for really practicing to finding your first pair during inspection. By the way, guys, I will leave an overview of different practice drills in the description so you can at least try to make your own practice routine, you know? These are my normal souls right here. So as you can see, best average of 100 is 9.8. 
I feel like I'm getting faster though. I still need to have a great day where I get a nine and a half average of 100 or something like that. I will get sub nine very soon, I promise you guys. So yeah, that's basically how I do it. I just have like different practice drills for each sessions. This is a great way of keeping an overview of how you're improving and everything. So the main thing you should take from this video is first of all, try to include some deliberate practice drills into your practice routine. Secondly, when you're doing souls, make sure you're focused. And thirdly, use discount code QPAD. I cannot think of anything else, but you know what's coming right now. You've been waiting for it. Here's my live stream average of five for this week. Hey guys, wish me good luck. I'm really stressed. No, actually I'm going to get a great time this week. So previous week I had a, no, the first week I had a 10.34 average of five. Then I had a 10.36 average of five. A lot of, <laughs> a lot of bad times basically. So I'm really aiming to get a sub 10 average this time. So we'll see if that happens. Ready? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> woo! That was a full step. Get the time, guys. I just can't mess up right now. Come on, just four other sub eight souls, and I'm really, really happy. <sighs> okay, let's go. Oh, that T burn was so slow. <sighs> 9.15. 9.15 still good it's counting low nine which is good so i haven't messed up so far 100 people watching i'm not nervous at all look at my hands guys okay let's see uh i messed up Oh, this is a DNF. Damn, I don't know what happened. Oh no, no, no. We've been here before, guys. I, I don't want to be in this situation. Let's say two low 10s and I'm happy. Two low 10s. I just want to get a sub 10. Uh, a sub 10 average of five. Hey, Phil, please sponsor me. <laughs> All right, I'll sponsor you, Phil. Guys, I have a corner twist. No, <laughs> are you kidding me? This, this, this would have been like 9.0 without the corner twist. This is so sad. Okay. I did some free fob there because I aligned the cross at the end again. So this would have been a 9.5 average of 5, but it is a DNF. <laughs> Guys, this series is not going well. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Because of that, I have a very special surprise for you. Are you ready? Here's our forgotten friend, guys. Chipsy is back. Now, I thought it would be nice to just show them once more. Because for some reason, people still comment about Chipsy while it has been so long ago since I talked about it, so that kind of surprised me that people still know who Chipsy is. So here he is, he's doing great. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support of you guys and I will see you in the next one. Ciao.